Here's the latest scoop on Debbie. So the National Hurricane Center just sent out an update that this system is moving even slower now, moving about six miles per hour. It still contains maximum sustained winds of 45 miles per hour, and it will move off the Georgia coastline later today. It will meander over the Atlantic waters throughout Wednesday evening into early Thursday before it starts to move back over land over South Carolina heading into Thursday. And because Debbie is going to be moving into the Atlantic waters, the Carolinas and Georgia are sitting to the north of it. So this is going to lead to significant flash flood concerns, potentially historic rainfall totals, anywhere from 10 to 20 inches for those areas highlighted in red. Many computer models have the path of Debbie cutting straight through Maryland. These are known as spaghetti plots, which help predict where a hurricane will track. Here's the latest track from the National Hurricane Center. It has Debbie weakening to a tropical depression by Saturday morning, but traveling northeastward through Virginia into Maryland and eventually to the northeast. The exact track of Debbie and how it interacts with a boundary just to the south of Maryland is still very uncertain. This will determine the timing and the placement of the heavy rain that we could see later this week. We are seeing better signs of not only heavy rain, but strong gusty winds in our neighborhoods Friday into Saturday.